Hello everybody. Uh, this is the first lecture in this series. In this lecture, we are try to uh, try to understand what is the pressure is. Uh, why we have to understand the pressure is that uh, in ship theory, uh, one it is one of the basic principles that we have to understand because uh, some of the complex uh, studies coming under ship's theory, theory based on pressure systems. So first of all, we'll define the pressure. Uh, what what pressure is that? Pressure is said to be pressure is said to be the force acting on a unit area. Assume that this is a cube, which is the weight of this cube is 100 kilograms and it lies on a floor and the area of this bottom part of this cube is 10 square meters so this 100 kg the total 100 kg is acting on this whole area so 100 kg is basically a force now this whole force is acting on 10 square meters but the pressure when we define the pressure it says force acting on a unit area so we have to find out in one square meter how much is the force acting so it can be find out by the, the formula where pressure is equals to force divided by area which will give us 10 kilograms per square meter so this is going to be the pressure so in other words we can come into a conclusion that pressure is force or vice versa force is pressure pressure is a force assume that this person is pushing this wall so this person is exerting force into this wall. So as per this definition, he is actually exerting a pressure on this wall. Because if there is a force, there is always a pressure. If there is a pressure, there is always a force. So force, pressure, pressure, force. So when it comes to a liquid, we can say that there are two types of pressures number one is called hydrostatic pressure and number two is called hydrodynamic pressure now uh, all of you know that hydro means liquid so what does it mean by static and what does it mean by dynamic static in the sense it doesn't move the opposite of dynamic so whatever is not dynamic is going to be static that means stable static so what is what does it mean by stable pressure or static pressure let's look at that one static hydrostatic pressure assume that uh, in a circus in a circus there are uh, this circus uh, performers climb on top of each other there will be a person down and on top of this person there will be another person climbing up and there will be another person climbing up assume that each person is 50 kg weight of this each person is 50 kilograms and what would be the force acting on this person's head it would be 50 kilograms because the weight of this person will be acting on the head of this person and what would be the force acting on this person's head it would be 100 kilograms because this weight plus this weight acting on this person's head what would be the force acting at the feet of this person it would be 150 kilograms so same in a liquid if you take a liquid there are molecules in this liquid each and every molecule has a weight 
so this weight each and every molecule has a weight so due to the gravity the weight is acting downwards so if you take any point of this liquid any point of this liquid for example this point the pressure acting here at this point would be the weight accumulated weight of these molecules on top of this molecule so if you look at this point what is the pressure acting or force acting on this point would be the weight the accumulate weight, accumulated weight of all these molecules acting here so you can see that if you take this point it would be the weight of this column so it can be seen that the pressure or force acting at this point or this point or this point is a function of the height so as the height changes the pressure changes you can see that plus assume that this is water assume that this is water and there is another liquid let's say mercury let's say mercury and mercury molecule and compared to water molecule mercury molecule is heavy is heavy mercury in fact mercury is a metal this is heavy so now the if you look at the force acting at the same height of both of these liquid will be different why the reason is that weight of this molecule compared to this molecule will be high so the pressure here acting in water compared to mercury would be low in mercury at this point the pressure acting on this point would be high due to the weight the height will be same but the weight of each molecule will be higher than water so weight is also a function of the pressure now in this case we cannot in a liquid we cannot show the weight instead we are showing weight of a unit volume so weight or mass of a unit volume is equals to density so weight of a unit volume is we are showing here right so it can be seen that static now this liquid is not moving it doesn't move even in a stable condition when it is not moving this force is there it is acting as long as the gravity is there this is there so h rho g is the static pressure of this liquid at a given point now uh, if you take the atmospheric pressure if you take the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is also a static pressure for example if a person is standing let's say the person is standing here this is the earth right and there are huge amount of air molecules on top of this person so all this air column the total air column has a weight it has a weight because each and every air molecule has a weight even though it is small when it comes to a bigger uh, uh, the, since the column height is so long because atmosphere is there uh, extending up to several kilometers so all these molecules are having a weight and acting on this person's head compared to a person on a high ground let's say a person in a mountain this person is having lesser weight acting on his head or on his feet so when you go up in a mountain in fact the static pressure decreases so if you go in a mountain if you go into a mountain in fact the static pressure decreases right now let's move on to hydro dynamic pressure what does dynamic means it means moving so 
I would take this liquid, right? I will put my hand into this liquid. Do I feel any force? No, I don't feel anything. But when I open up a tap, let's say this is a tap or a valve, like a water tap, I will open up this valve and this water or this liquid will flow out or move out from this tap. And if I put my hand here, I will feel a force acting on my hand. So here I don't feel anything, here I feel a force. Why? These molecules are coming and hitting my hand. So you can see that when a liquid is in dynamical state, I can feel a force. So as for the previous conclusion, force is pressure. So in this case, I am feeling a pressure. Now, in order to quantify this pressure, we have to come into a little bit of mathematics and physics. Uh, assume that this is a small stone or some kind of a solid object which has a weight of m and it is moving at a speed of v a velocity of v so what is the kinetic energy of this object it can be given as half m v squared half into mass into velocity squared but in a liquid it would be difficult to find out the mass instead we can find out mass of a unit volume we can find the mass of a unit volume so in other words mass of a unit volume means density of this liquid so we can say the dynamic pressure of this liquid is half rho v squared instead of putting mass we can put velocity uh, uh, sorry we can put density here so now any liquid is having hydrostatic uh, pressure and hydrodynamic pressure so there was a person called Bernoulli this Bernoulli explained that uh, we will come to the Bernoulli's theory later on because uh, the ship's eductor system is based on Bernoulli's uh, uh, theorem uh, we'll look into the Bernoulli's theorem in the next lecture thank you very much